G'day, James. G'day, Marnie. How are you? I'm um, doing good. Awesome. Going to be playing some Magic the Gathering. Oh, well, thanks for joining me. And uh, what are we playing today? Oh, we're trying out the Pioneer format. Oh, nice. Pro Tour formats and all sorts of other good good tournaments coming up. Yep. So I guess to uh, you know leave you viewers uh, rest assured, um, James and I have played a lot of Magic, haven't we? Yeah, a um, lot probably between us over 30 years so um you loved modern played a lot of modern yeah definitely was really into modern and standard yeah uh but before i moved before i moved to nelson yeah and you've even got a few pioneer decks you see yeah yeah still got some uh got the mono green deck and i've got a uh, hardened scales deck nice oh, the, oh that might be modern actually i yeah. think i'm thinking yeah. of the racto sacrifice deck actually uh, yeah. that yeah. one yeah well, I uh, Pioneer kind of came about since I left uh, competitive Magic. So I am quite keen to give Pioneer a go and, and play some games with it because it just naturally, I guess it is, yeah. but it also feels like a somewhere between modern and standard. So yeah. um, obviously you can use cards going back as far as Khans of Tarkir, um, which was when the friendly fetch lands got reprinted however they're not legal in pioneer format yeah just to slow it down a bit more and make it a bit more fair which is kind of good um but yeah these are the pioneer challenger decks um that are currently out i think there's a new cycle coming soon but um there's four different ones james chose to play uh black white humans which i think is a pretty good choice for this matchup i expect to see some thalias in there and so on okay. Um, and I have the Is It Phoenix deck, um, which is of course uh, sort of a tempo-y blue-red. Um, I imagine I'll be playing a lot of spells, interrupting what he's doing, and attacking with some flyers and stuff. So cool. we have these of course uh, in store. There is a Gruul uh, Stompy deck, green-red, and there is also a blue-black control deck if you like full control. Um, I've seen both of those. They've got some very good cards. Um, these decks are built to be semi-competitive um, mm. so i think the idea is you know you get an affordable price of about 75 bucks and you can add you know 20 to 30 dollars worth extra of singles and then your deck's like tournament ready so yeah. in the scheme of magic it's pretty affordable uh, format to play um, and we will be hosting um, re-attempting to host our first anz super series qualifier which is the new first step to getting to pro tour which is back from so that'll be on Sunday the 18th of June. I know a lot of customers have bought one of these already in Nelson um, and a lot of players already have probably all the cards they need to build a deck. So hopefully this inspires you a little. We're just going to open these up, uh, have a quick yeah. flick through of what's in there and have a look with you. Um, and then we will get into some gameplay. Oh, a nice little easy peel there. Because dragons are for cowards. This is oh. my, my little box blurb on the wow. top. Okay. <laughs> That's a bit uh Who ordered the extra spicy chicken, mine says. Well, it wasn't me. <laughs> but I'm keen to play. Some interesting uh, spoily, spoily boxes. Some tokens. <laughs> this is some stuff about Pioneer. Count life into tournaments and more with the app picture of Thalia which oh my goodness that was a lot of annoying thing oh oh fair word <laughs> <laughs> is he just like testing oh well someone loud outside don't worry about it we'll carry on I'll cut that out <laughs> <laughs> um it's showing the four decks you can get that we we're talking about before um, so that's kind of cool all right a little divider so this can be a temporary deck box if you don't have one handy which is kind of good a little lip and this looks like my main deck and then perhaps a sideboard, sideboard. so that this is really good if you're newer to the game and you're not fully sure on how sideboarding and stuff works they're kind of making it easy for you so if this is oh. 15 cards 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 cards in the sideboard so that's pretty good um and yeah these definitely look you know blue counter spell that's better against blue decks nah set's probably good against i don't know number of decks depending mm. just 
12 ring sounds, 3 damage to everything. This kills artifacts, this kills bigger creatures. So, yeah, that'll be the sideboard. Have I got my sideboard? Oh, containment priest. That seems oh, like a. That might come in good. handy. Yeah. Later. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yeah, an extra giant killer. And then some Sunbolt Sentinel portable hole in the sideboard. I guess that makes sense. Sunset Revelry and some duress. Oh, nice. Those are all solid cards. Looks like I'll be making some treasures. I'll try or... not to read all the cards too long. <laughs> You'll know what most of them make myself do. look like a novice. <laughs> <laughs> you know what most of them do. They've been out for a few sets, but you keep an eye on things. Um, and this is the main deck here, so... Or oh, two archive demons. So they give you, like we we're saying, you know, they give you pretty good land base. You even get a uh, shock land. I've noticed in all of these decks. So yeah, what's he definitely haven't? Um, this is a great card. Definitely haven't. Um, I guess cut you short on uh, too much goodies. Like it's a very playable deck. Treasure Cruise is uh, legal, of course, in Pioneer, which is awesome. Not not legal in modern. Um, yeah, no, this Let's looks exciting. Lines. Awesome. So uh, I remember Is It Phoenix in Modern, so I suspect this will be somewhat similar. similar. So as I was saying before, you know, you can get Arclight Phoenix. I don't think it's too expensive as a card at the moment. Um, if you wanted another thing on the ice, perhaps you'd add those. You know, if you had the budget or some trades, you could get a couple more Steam Mints just for... Um, consistency, but even then, like Shivan Reef, Temples, mm -hmm. and Sulphur Falls, like these are all pretty good for your land base. Yeah, some human tribal, Rally the Ranks, solid Anthem, Lunark Aspirant, obviously nuts. Alright, some lands, got those Thalias you talked about, and her lieutenant, obviously great build build around for humans some blood soaked champions mutable oh my goodness yeah <laughs> value going full they're getting some good value in here for sure these are great decks tactics for removal bunch of lands some more removal for even inspector nice. six staple all right i'm excited basics. to play this you is ready? Be fun. <laughs> yeah all right all sleeved up ready to go yeah, ready so um we are going to try best of three in case anyone gets land screwed um but also because the product in these decks come with a good sideboard so we may as well see you know how the games progress with some sideboard options um and we've been yeah looking forward to it so hang in there and see how these play against each other i think it looks pretty like anyone's game to be honest from what I've seen. Um, do you want to roll? A high roll? Sure. Fine. Oh, wow. <laughs> Double ones. Double. I'm a card merchant now. So Double man, phoenixes. There you go. Double phoenix. You get to choose. Yeah, I think I should go first, I think. I think in magic you nearly you always go first. Always want to. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> That'll do. No, this is no control now, I guess. Etiquette. Oh, oh, I've got a, got a proper shuffle here, mate. Oh, proper shuffle. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shuffle, shuffle. No. Brand new decks. There we go. Get it all randomized. All right, so yeah, magic. Um, you know, you may be newer to the game completely. So, uh, constructive format you have 60 um, cards in your deck minimum, generally, always 60. And you can have up to 15 or cards in your sideboard, which will come in to play to uh, game two or three, two and or three. And if you go first, which James has chosen to do, you do not draw a card. Otherwise, you draw a card at the start of every turn. And with magic, you can mulligan. So you can look at your first seven cards. And if you don't have any or maybe even one land card, you probably want a mulligan. So what this means, you shuffle your hand back. You draw seven again, but... If it's the first time you've mulliganed from the seven, you have to put one back mm -hmm. on top or bottom of your deck. And then if you mulligan again, you've got to put two back. So basically go down a card each time, but you still get to look at the seven. Well, I 
don't think I want to ship this back. I think I'm just going to keep. Cool. I'll keep as well. Good one. Perfect. Um, I'm going to play a concealed courtyard. Oh, nice. Pass the turn. That's a good land. I'm going to play an island and pass the turn. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. Uh, decisions already. <laughs> <coughs> I'll play the secluded courtyard and name human. Oh. So I can add one mana of any color spent it to play a spell of that chosen type. Okay. Creature spell of the chosen type. Yep. Or activate abilities of the creature. Oh nice. Nice. Or so colorless. Yep. Or colorless or anything. Okay, that's pretty good. Um You know what, I think it's probably prudent to just get out my Thalia Oof. straight away. So in response to you playing that, before it resolves, I'm going to play one blue for an instant, and look at the top card of my deck, I may put it in my mm -hmm. grave, and then draw a card. I'll allow it. Thanks. Yeah. Graveyard. Mm -hmm. Draw. Alright, oh, now nice. all my non-creature spells cost one more. Yeah. Your turn. Pretty good turn to play. Deal with it. Draw. <laughs> I actually drew that one. Would have been Ooh. interesting. So a mountain. I had to think about it. Hmm. <clears throat> Pass the turn. Oh, okay. I'm gonna draw off the turn. Ooh. Another land. Now I'm gonna attack with my Thalia. So go to combat step. Yep. I are. Uh, Two first strike damage, no blocks. Alright. And then I will follow up with Kite Sail Freebooter. Oh my god. So I get to look at your hand and then choose a non creature, non land from it and exile it until Freebooter leaves. Bunch of can trips. What do these do? <laughs> Kill creatures. I know what this does. But flame this <laughs> bolt. Ah, oh, it kills things. Yeah, I think I'll just take one of these uh, burn spells. Probably just the fiery impulse for now. Yep. So I'll get that back with these guys. Yep. Right, yep, that's at the end of your turn. That's more. That's all I got. All right, I'm gonna pay one extra for this card. All right. So you scry one, bottom it, and then draw. Hand back, untap, draw a card. Ooh! Oh, I can't even. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. This is not good. Your turn. Oh, my actually. Oh, uh, doesn't. Wait, does it matter? It does matter. Yeah, I have to play this in my main face to try and find a land. That would be. So look at that the top, nice. they Ooh. put it in my grave. So you're just shields yeah, sure. down right now. Yep, your turn. Cool. Oh, I've missed, missed this. <laughs> 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 I was included. Fourth land. Oh, um, you've missed your opponents getting minus good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, dear. I mean, it's kind of pronounced by... <laughs> Having this out against my all spells, <laughs> with two lands in play. Hey, no. 
Live in the ways though. I'm oh play my another freebooter. God, I'm screwed. And I'll uh, I'll be taking that other burn spell, I think. That's exiled. Oh, you're drawing some nice spells there, but they're all good expensive. Man. <laughs> and then I'll play Thalia's Lieutenant. Oh my god. Put so plus one counter on each other human I control. Oh my goodness. And Whenever another human enters the battlefield, it gets plus one counter. Oh my goodness. And we're going to swing at you, go to combat, attack for five total. <laughs> We've learned our lesson, ladies and gentlemen. If you see this card and you can get rid of get it, of it to maybe do that. Away. Yeah. <laughs> I should have. I got greedy. <laughs> Trying to find lands. Uh, five damage. I five can't total. do anything. Cool. Pass the turn. <sighs> oh. Oh. The coveted third land. Land. I love you. Doesn't do a lot here, though. Nope. Man, that's rough. But I'm, I just have to play it anyway. <clears throat> Pay three for this. So look at the top three cards in my library. Um, put one of them in my hand put one of them on the bottom of my library and exile one. I may play the exiled card this turn. So I'll exile this forever. <clears throat> I'm past the turn. All right. It's all right, Marnie. I think I'm just going to put you out of your misery. <laughs> Luminarch Aspirant. Oh my it god. Oh, I've run out of dice. Oh. I need another dice on dice. my. Lieutenant. It gets plus one from its own ability. Yeah. In the beginning of combat, you get another plus one somewhere. Yeah. And then I'll play a second Thalia's Lieutenant. <laughs> so this gets a second plus one, and everything gets another plus one. Oh my goodness. Three, four, ten, thirteen. Already. It's exactly lethal. Oh my goodness. And then this can give this another counter. All right, let's go 14. into sideboarding. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not that one. Yeah. Okay, Get I've learned my lesson. Kill the Thalia. Yeah. <laughs> yep. oh, I mean, goodness. to be fair, that was still pretty ruthless without the Thalia. Yeah, the Freebooters are like a pain. Well played, sir. Well played. Well played. Yeah, that was a pretty, pretty nice hand from me. I don't say that much. So I'm gonna side in some um, creature removal. Seems smart. <laughs> I'm gonna. I don't know. Should I take out creature removal? Doesn't seem like that's what I want to be doing. I'd like to sign in some That's pretty good card though. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll leave some removal in, but not all of it. Um kind of already figured out a little bit what I want to board in so we have a sun gold sentinel which is a two cost three two so decent stats and it says whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks exile up to one target card from a graveyard so we've seen uh, arc light phoenix and I'm sure there's a bunch of other cards in there that we could exile so seems pretty strong in this matchup uh, I'm bringing in Duress, just helps get rid of removal spells and stuff before you land your big big dudes. 
all your important ones, and containment priests, because who doesn't love exiling Archite Phoenixes when just when your opponent thinks they're about to get three of them into play? <laughs> That's true. Mm. And you can't you can't like remove no, containment priest on the stack. So that uh well, like if yeah. I do the arc lights and then you play that, yeah. and I bolt it before before the arc lights enter. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, that something. would be that would work. You have to <coughs> do it to time it right. So that's seven cards I'm trying to board in. I guess I could take that. One, two, three. Four. I've just gone for this three damage to everything. Ooh. And some bigger, uh, bigger damage things for well looks like with your lieutenants and stuff if mm. anything gets too out of hand or too big I don't want to be looking at a two or three damage spell and your guy's already a four 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 <laughs> yeah um, although these cards are actually quite good yeah same with I don't want to take out kind of hedge my bets taking one of each of these and then just taking some of these Maybe I don't actually want the duress. The only thing it does is gets me down a removal spell. Yeah. So but I also want my stuff in my graveyard. So yeah. So like trades a card for another card, but a creature kind of does the same thing. Yeah. Anyway, and it's more proactive. So yeah, that's useful. Feels probably correct. So is that a two mana three two that eats my graveyard? Yeah. Great. On attack and enter. Oh my goodness. So good luck building up your graveyard for is it any treasure card? cruises? Yeah, in either graveyard. Oh my god. That's not good. And it's got some other activated ability that I didn't actually read. But it's probably not important. Well, I'm going to choose to go first because. Alright, fair enough. I don't want to get <laughs> ram raided again. Ah, oh, okay. So I can pay two and it gains hexproof from a color of my choice until the end of turn. Oh my god. And can't be blocked by creatures of that color this turn. Oh my goodness. That's terrible. I can activate only if I control three or more creatures with different oh. powers. Oh, okay. Still. Crazy, so, you know. It's not a one. It's not a one man army, but oh, I didn't see, it. it does. It does work. It does work in this matchup. Sure. All right, one nil to uh, black white humans. All right, I'll start this time. May you draw well. Yes, may you. And like luck. <laughs> Good luck, James. Well, I was worried last game needed. that I would just draw lands, but I didn't. I just drew spells. It was great. I'm gonna keep. Uh, likewise. Your turn. Uh, okay, secluded courtyard naming human mm -hmm. and bloodstoked champion. Oh my goodness. Two one. I will Raid. return return from the graveyard if I've attacked this turn. What? Yeah. Pass. That's pesky as from Khans of Tarkir nonetheless. Yeah. Right, this was one of the first cards I ever owned. I'm going to consider at the end of your turn. Untap draw. Ooh, that's a pesky one. Thing in the ice. So uh, this has four health, uh, four toughness. It's Defender and it has four ice counters on and every time I play an instant or sorcery 
I remove an ice counter. And when I remove all of them, it flips into a magical beast, which is a 7-8. Mm -hmm. And when it transforms into this, return all non-horror creatures to their owner's hand. So, all right. Are they wanting to keep this around? I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. Your turn. Welcome to my two <laughs> drop. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just play a cave of Koilos. And. Yeah, I'll chuck out a freebooter. Man. <clears throat> And those are all good cards. And this has got lots of yeah, nice modes. And this is if you've got two or more instants, which is already a thing. So you've already got spell mastery. I think I'm gonna take the impulse here. Yep, fair enough. It's just cheaper. Yeah. And then I'm gonna pass to you. Didn't bluff the combat trick, eh? Well, I'm tapped out. No, uh, before you play, but. That's fair, that's good. Yeah. I don't wanna be considering that. Uh, I shall. Fast one. Yeah, all right. Interesting. I wonder if fetch lands were banned in this format purely because they wanted to let people play delve cards. Right. Like dig through time and yeah. treasure cruise. Yeah. Well, they're fair in formats without fetch lands. Sure. Yeah. They were fair, pretty fair and standard. Yeah. Back in the day. I think I'm going to check out uh, Rally the Ranks, which is, I have to take a damage to play that because of my caves. Uh, um, it's just a plus one, plus one to all humans. Oh, just casually, eh? Thought I wouldn't see that. Well, yeah. potentially. Um, that's a cheeky little spell, though. Um... I think I countered it. True. Counter a non creature spell unless you pay two. I can't pay two. Remove one of these. Yep. Guess I'll attack for one damage. Take it. Alright, your turn. End of turn, I'm going to play Opt. Scry one and then draw. <clears throat> Oof, I'm gonna play it before <laughs> you stop me <laughs> so I can delve okay. four cards and pay four, yeah, and draw three cards, and that removes a king. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. It's always nice and magic playing different formats because mm. I think it makes you appreciate cards you know in different mm. ways or different contexts yeah like in this oh, yeah, man. format it just feels like all our cards are really great yeah <laughs> uh, 
I think I need to check out what's going on in your hand again. So Lightning Axe cool. as an additional cost. Discard or pay five more. Deal five damage. Another is it charm. Mm -hmm. Lava Coil deals four. This deals two or three. And that's Man, that's a lot of things that do the same thing. <laughs> I guess I'll take the is it charm in that case. Damn. So it does the work. most different things. Yeah. And now play a rally the ranks. Second rally the ranks. Oh no, that's bad. That is bad for me. Uh, attack for two for flying. That is two to the face. Sweet. Pass the turn to you. Draw a card. Three the risk of that happens. Get this back. This goes to one counter. Uh, you'll t oh, when I play this, I scry. Sorry. Yeah, you should do that. Um, yeah, sure. Your turn. All right. That's on its last counter. Mm. Um, Poor blood soaked champion. He didn't attack he's, at all. He's did he? not. He's he only knows how to attack and <laughs> nothing else. His one purpose in life. Hmm. Man, this is like a lot of removal in your hand, eh? I think it's um, much easier for this Is It Phoenix deck to play when you get some lands. Yep, for sure. Um, the Kite Sail Freebooters just screwed me up for this game, but when you have enough to play your cards, I think it's... I think I'm going to play the Sentinel out. Oh. So when it enters, I can exile a card from any graveyard. Wow. So I think I'll just target your... Um, fire impulse, and then I will go to combat and attack with my freebooter. So the thing in the ice will trigger first, wouldn't it? Before the thing, the lightning axe resolve, because the last count is coming up. Oh yeah, true. So Which means just really bad to do. Well, I get a free boot of bat in hand, and I just did this. And one you do one. you discarded two cards that essentially did nothing. Yeah. Oh, Unless you can like play a hand trick or something instead, which you probably don't have because I don't think I saw one. 
Oh, you got to move each other. Oh, that's right. I, you got that one back. I'll do this instead then. So before that resolves, you're saying um, this happens? Yeah. What modes are you choosing? Draw and discard. Uh, so instead of discarding two cards, you're drawing two cards mm. and discarding one. To discard two of them. Draw, draw two, discard, discard two. two. Oh, yeah. And so I get this. Yeah. yeah. the turn. Not playing a thing down. No. You're worrying me. <clears throat> Don't think it's worth it. Alright, well while you do that I'll consider at the end of turn. Yep. Draw for turn. Even move. Text it. Yep. Uh, no box. Seven. That's all I need in my life. Your turn. Alright. Uh, end of your turn, I'm going to flash in this containment <coughs> priest. Yep. And then untap. Draw. Need some more land. Nice. I'm gonna re up my freebooter. Oh, I forgot to take a damage from playing that priest. So here's my caves. Three of it. Three of my priest. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll take one of your other coils, I guess. Yeah. At this point, do I just reboot her again and take the other one? I'm going to be taking a lot of damage. You can block. I could, yeah. Doesn't seem um, productive. Um, when this graveyard gets pretty quick, yeah, we'll replay this and take your other coil and pass to you. And step, I'll play this. Yep. Oh, the card. The card. The card. Draw a card. Temple. Oh crap! Sorry, Tim. Um, tax step. Yep. Seven. Hmm. <clears throat> Not sure how I'm going to get through this. Uh, 
Well, I was like worrying about how much of my grave I needed, and then I read that Crackling Drake says number of instant or sorceries you own in exile and in your grave. Yeah, no, you just <laughs> free, free to treasure cruise all you want. Yeah. Oh. Hello, this cat. Draw two and discard one unless I've attacked with a creature. So mm. I just draw two. Broken. Draw two. Yeah. Oh, I needed that card a while ago. I'm taking so much damage from the lands as well. Blood Soak Champion. The champ. He's back. He might attack at some point. Take a damage to play Luminarch Aspirant. Yep. And then take a damage to play Dauntless Bodyguard. Oh. And I'll name Luminarch Aspirant. Isn't this a really good survival wise? Yeah. <laughs> a human 2 1 with an ability at Uncom. Yeah. Dauntless so, Bodyguard enters, choose a creature, sack that. Sack it to get the chosen thing. Indestructible. Shoot. So we're going to put a counter on, I guess, Freebooter. This oh, are they counters? The start of combat. Oh, wow. Okay. Counter on Freebooter. Yeah. Attack for, for 3 with that. Shoot. Yeah. And I'll pass to you. End of your turn. I'll consider. Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> Some free damage. Hooray. What is this card? The second spell you play? Beginning of combat. Oh, three or more? Play three spells. Sheesh. Yeah, I'll see. Draw for turn. Well, that's the card. But if I say I did like the three damage to everything situation hypothetically, yeah, and then yeah. you have to activate this ability, right? In so response. then, if I had another instant removal, I could kill it. Yeah, that that could happen. <laughs> that could in a <laughs> hypothetical in a hypothetical world. If I had a okay, anger of the like gods and a other thing, other thing. So how big is this? Four on the bump. Four toughness. Currently. But I think you just kill me if you um kill my untapped things. Lava coil this for four. Yep. Exiled. Get that back. Read everything. Yeah. Uh, in response, I'll give my aspirant indestructible. In response, I'll liberate him for three. Oh. And swing for seven. Yeah. No. Can't block that. <laughs> no. <laughs> One each. Oh. Uh, maybe I do need some more removal. So I took out a bit of removal. But I did have some. Rally the Ranks was not a card that I expected or knew was in there. Maybe I'll put some <clears> in <throat> I'm not sure what to take out. Yeah, 
means a lot, but you might not. Just so that I don't get one killed by a single big creature. And I get to go first this time, which will help. Means maybe my blood soaked champion will be able to attack at least once. So sad. He knows nothing but attacking, but he never went sideways a single time that game. Poor fella. So we won a piece here. Yep. So is it cider. Phoenix versus black white humans? Black white humans. Hopefully they can uh, race you down. Maybe play some Abzan humans in the next oh. March and Machine set. And uh Get, was it Thalia riding the Gertrude monster? Yeah. yeah. I watched uh, Reed Duke win his first Pro Tour the other day. Yeah. With That's like a uh, combo deck. Yeah, creativity. Is yeah, it? yeah. Is it creativity? It's a pretty interesting deck. Stoked for him, though. What a good guy. Mm -hmm. He's been around for ages. I was surprised he hasn't won one before. To be honest, he has been yeah. second so many times. Yeah. The Matt Rogers syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> Which he had in Magic. He's a. He's found his oh, game yeah. now in fashion. <laughs> True. All right. Um, Good luck. So what do you want to do first this time? All right. Yeah. Just get that. Get that. Do that out there. First turn. Get that turn one. Nut floor. Yeah, I'm keeping this hand. This hand's good as. Oh dear. I might run out of gas. But I have to keep. All right. Secluded courtyard named human. Oh no. Blood soaked champion. Oh no. Last turn. It's. Oh no. Oh, that's a good first turn. Your turn. Uh, first off, attack for two. Oh. And then I'm gonna eat bloods. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tapped Godless Shrine and a Thraven Inspector. Oh. Gives me a clue. Who's gonna win this game? I'll give you a clue. <laughs> Don't spoil anything. Oh. Oof. It's the thing. It's the thing. In the eyes. Your turn. Untap. Ooh, that's not a bad one. Stop saying stuff like that, folks. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe how good this hand is. Really intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's drawn his godless shrine. shrine. His special, his special shop. shop. Uh, yeah, I think. We're gonna play a Lumina Aspirant. Ooh. And then we're gonna play a Dauntless Bodyguard, Ooh. which is gonna be protecting this Aspirant. That's nice. And then we're gonna go to combat. Yeah. And we're gonna put a counter on my Inspector. My goodness. And then we're gonna attack you with two twos. Two twos. Ooh. 
block one. Okay. I'll take two. Yeah. Past you. Mm. Catalyst in blue. Chart a course. Draw two and discard a card. Yep. Oh gosh. Yep. That takes it down off. Your turn. All right. Draw the turn. Okay. Fire land. Ooh. I'm going to blood cheats thirst your thing in the ass. Destroy target creature or planeswalker oh, no. CMC two or less. Oh no! I saw you eyeing that up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to let that thing in the ice oh, ruin me again. That was my only hope. Oh no! It's going to get that out of here now. Thank you very much. Oh dear. Um, I think I might as well activate my clue, see what I find as well. Alright. Uh, go to combat. I'm going to put a counter on. My blood soak change here. Wants to target. Oh, knock him out. Oh, ruined. Should have put it somewhere else. Wait, oh, it exiles it as well. Yeah, God. ruined. Okay. Uh, I'm going to attack with all my more things. Oh, gosh. Uh, this is for a total of five. Yeah. Oh, cool. Last nice. turn. Mm. You might not be dead. Not straight away. I'm just going to slam this stuff and mm. take the damage off the reef. Yeah. So it's a 3 4 currently. Uh, your turn. What am I going to do about that? Yeah. I'll go to combat. Mm -hmm. Put a counter on my inspector. Mm -hmm. Now, I just put it on the inspector last turn. I would have had something bigger than your scary dude. That would have been real good. Oh, when he enters, draw a card. Oh, did you not do Sorry, that? Sorry, team. No, I didn't even see that. Okay. That's way good. Oh, another land. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I love lands. Awesome. Oh, I am so fantastic. Uh, I don't think it's time to go full hand yet. I'm gonna play this Blood Soaked Champion. Mm. And pass to you. <sighs> Gosh. No, you got your big dude. I feel like I've been spoiled a little bit here.
so many cards in hand. That Drake is getting a bit big. <laughs> yeah, I'm going for the one shot kill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, true. Yeah. Clearly. Team of Battle Rage, here we go. Play land for the turn. Oh. So much card trick. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, no. So five sorceries in instance. And banish. Mm -hmm. This came in one here, so it's six. So draw three cards. Yoga. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Felt for sure after that treasure cruise, I was pretty screwed. Oh. I'll go to combat. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a counter on my inspector. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to attack you. These two. It's a four five and a two one. Okay. Damage. Yep. Take four. Yep. This dies. Oh, I'm gonna. Play a kite sail freebooter. Take a look at your hand. That's not good. Wow. So game one mana screw, game two perfect, game three <laughs> mana flood. I guess I take the removal. You can't even play the treasure cruise next turn. Eh? Uh you could, but it takes your whole turn up. No, I can't. If I don't get something. Oh, true. You need to draw a card spell or something. <laughs> card draw. And then I'm going to return my champion to the battlefield. Tap. Yep. Is that tapped? Yeah, I think so. Nope. It's just untapped. No, it it can't. It can't, can't block. block. Yeah. yeah. Land pass. Like a pro. I can't believe this deck doesn't have any bounce. That's the one thing. Bounce. I guess it does in the form of thing and bounce, but yeah. that's about it. Just had like a ton of treasure cruisers in hand, or those treasure cruisers in hand all game, trying to kill them. No, just honestly lands. Like, lands. Yeah. 
like the first turn I don't even remember what it was like I had I kept four lands maybe mm. and then I drew a land and then I when I opted I opted a land away mm. then I got like my fourth card and then I just drawn like three lands the last Fun. three turns yeah. but that's okay it's part of the, the magical goodness um I Just be dead next turn too. So I'm gonna hard cast Phoenix. Hmm. Even then, I don't know if I would. But we'll try. You're thinking about it. What we get up top. Oh, that's a card, I guess. Um, Give all humans plus one. Yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> that would be the nuts. Um, just need to figure out where I'm putting my counter this turn. Probably don't need it on the inspector anymore. Um, Yes. I guess I'll put my counter on. Um, my free booter. Mm -hmm. And then. gonna start swinging with a bit of everything. Might as well swing with this too, I think. So you'd be taking five four damage. No. Upgrade three damage. Oh. That's rough. Yep. So take this dies and get your impulse back. These two trade, trade, trade. and you take three. Yep. Oh my goodness! <laughs> and pass the turn. Oh no way! Why? That's disgusting! Uh. Oh man. Blue. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. ah. Right. So how does that trigger the phoenix? Does it kill the phoenix? Or does uh, it come back I believe it kills the phoenix because that's your third spell yeah. you've cast. Yeah. Oh, at beginning of combat. Oh, sick. Okay. So it's not actually. I forgot. Yeah. So no, it doesn't kill the phoenix. Great. I'll knock over it. And I'll bring this back and take the course. Mm. Your turn. Yeah. I think you've got, you got the same. I just drew my way out of a pickle. Well, wow. And you just kill me. Oh. Play a dude. Past turn. That was like the first time having loads of lands actually helped. <laughs> yeah. Well, your deck's got a lot more card draw than me. <clears throat> and I haven't. I've drawn a lot more lands than I'd like to. Yeah. So you can get out of your flood easier than me. Scry. Um. That's also pretty good. Draw three. Yep. Blue, blue, red. Red? Yep. Some big scary monster. Yep, an 11 4. Yep. Draw a card. Attack for 3. Yep. Your turn. Attack and draw. On this bodyguard. In response to you playing it, I'm gonna shoot this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh sad guy. <laughs> Guess I'll just play out my land and pass and let you get the win. Oh dear. Let okay. me take you. Yeah. <laughs> I see that on camera too. Yeah. Okay, cool. I won't concede. Good work, Never team. concede. Never concede. <laughs> Turns right. out playing, managing to get to. Should um, I play out just to show what the can do? Uh, no. I mean, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I love. I'm just gonna it. edit the video so that <laughs> I just write money then play with his deck for the next five minutes, <laughs> and I won't actually keep in the the bit where you win. That's fair enough. Yeah, the sticks don't mean it. It is king you keep drawing a million cards. Yeah, I think that's the, the strength of it. Attack for 3 and 11, 12, and 13, 14. 14, 15, 16. Yeah. Man, crackling okay. Drake. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I think I actually lost this game when... Um, I drew board sweep. No, no, no. Way before that. I had Thraven Inspector out and I put oh, a plus one counter on my blood soaked and yeah. then you killed it. Yeah. Whereas this would have been up to quite a lot. Enough to attack through your Crackling Drake on the turn you played it. Yeah. Which would have not been a trade, it would have actually been bigger than your Drake. Yes. It would true. have been a four five and yours was only a three four. Yeah. So I would have got through four damage there. Yeah. So that was where I lost, I think. You played very well. And the deck seems like it can do some cool stuff. Yeah, Any but your ads? deck's just so, so much draw. Yeah. Any additions? Any ads you'd suggest? To um, of cards you know of? Cards I know of. Well, I, I believe there's quite a strong 3-drop in white. I can't remember what the name of it is. Um, 
Uh, what else is good? Maybe, even though this is a human's deck, like maybe you want that spirit that exiles, exiles things. Um, it's from Zendikar, the newest, not the newest Zendikar, but the one before that. So three cost two two, and it enters you exile. Maybe in this match. My familiarity with yeah with um yeah. current cards is champion of the parish. Is that two aggro? The one drop that gets plus one potentially counters. Potentially good. Potentially could be good. Maybe you need more disruption and stuff. Uh, what about three mm. drop Thalia? Non basics come tapped and um, creatures come tapped. Don't know how many. Maybe two of those. Potentially could potentially use that. Um, yeah. But it's a strong deck. I think with some upgrades. Can definitely get better. I quite like this. I think one more land just to not get screwed ever would be quite good. Um, and you <clears throat> kind of want to play multiple spells in any turn. Like Dark Light Phoenix even says three in a turn, bring it back. Mm -hmm. So I think you want that option earlier. <clears throat> so if you miss a land drop, it's quite. It's oh. Oh, it must be time to get. <laughs> must be if you miss a land it. drop, I think like it really stunts the speed of the deck, kind of thing. Mm. I mean, as is with any deck, but yeah, particularly this. Um, but no, overall, really, really fun. I I worry a bit about there are cards that just banish graveyards, right? So yeah, like that would be a, lot of a bit good annoying. cards. But I guess crackling Drake. It's kind of good too. I like that actually. Yeah, apart from, I mean, you'd lose. You can lose your phoenixes, and you can. Your opponent could make treasure cruise pretty bad, mm -hmm. or at least pretty awkward. You'd have to like have a whole turn at like turn five or six, playing a million spells, and just so you can treasure cruise. But yeah, yeah. Pretty cool. That's interesting. So yeah, if you want to uh, get into some constructed magic, or you're already playing Pioneer, hopefully you enjoyed that either way. And um, of course, uh, as we said at the start, if you're um, you know wanting a deck, these are seventy four ninety nine on our website. Mm -hmm. Four different types: You've got Gruel, Stompy, and Blue White, Blue Black Control as well. Um, and if you're in the Nelson area, check out our weekly schedule. We're going to be doing more Pioneer events in the shop, and of course, leading up to the big uh, ANZ Super Series Pro Tour qualifier on uh, June the eighteenth on Sunday. So, yeah. Check back for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Card Merchant Nelson hosts your favorite card games like Magic, Pokemon, Flesh and Blood, and more. Check out our online store for singles, sealed product, events, and accessories, and start playing today.